Greetings, welcome to another episode of Real City Inspiration, the series where we take a look at cities in real life and try to adapt their layouts to our creations in SimCity. Today, we're going to be looking at the city of Brasilia, the capital of Brazil. This city has a very unique pattern to its road layout, conformed by very wide arches. The creation of the city was done during a live stream, and the fans in the chat room name this city Isso. which in English means Access. So what you're looking at is the speed build that was done uh, live, but if you want to check out the full uninterrupted three hours of city building, you might want to check out the link in the description that leads to the recorded live stream. So now I'm going to be quiet for a moment. I'm going to let you enjoy this speed building process, and then I'm going to come back with some more details about this project. So this is what the city looks like after building it for a couple hours. 
Let me give you a quick tour just to show you the different uh, zoning patterns, neighborhoods, and the buildings that we placed, uh, just to get uh, for you to get a like, like detailed idea of um, what the city is going to look like once I start the simulation. So um, as you can see, it's mostly residential, even though we have some commercial around uh, these areas, like basically against the this avenue that I'm guessing is going to have quite a bit of traffic. I might even upgrade it uh, during the simulation process. We also have some commercial here right next to the community college, which I'm, I'm guessing is going to drive a lot of traffic in this area of town. And then, uh, as, as you can see, this main uh, esplanade, as they call it in, in Brasilia, we're going to leave that as a park. Uh, we have our city hall here, we have a church, and um, we have, again, like the community college and a, the Tokyo Tower, which they actually have like a TV tower, and this is the closest thing I could find. And honestly, this is probably one of the not not my favorite uh, landmarks in SimCity, well, not one of them. So, um, But I think it looks actually quite nice, and, as it, and you have some antennas here, so... I'm guessing that's uh, that's quite all right. Right here we have a Brazilian building, actually, the Edificio Copan or Copan. I don't know how to say it exactly. Debug happiness wave. I don't know what that means. Um, probably something to do with this. Uh, is it same here? No. Probably something to do with this mod that I installed that tells you the number of jobs that uh, the people working inside of these buildings. This whole area is high density. The rest is kind of medium density, and. Um, we're gonna have mixed uh, neighborhoods. This inner streets are all low density. And uh, up here we have the industrial area, which I'm guessing is gonna be enough, even though only these four blocks are kind of half zoned. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can have some big density or high density factories uh, providing jobs for all these people. But again, since most of these streets are uh, low uh, density, I don't think we are going to have that much of an issue. In fact, we might be short in terms of population to fulfill all these uh, jobs. Back here we have an uh, oil plant, oil power plant, which should be importing things from the region. Yes, thank you. Back here we have the German uh, high-speed rail station. Uh, on this corner we have the airport uh, with only one runway, because adding more runways it's like it makes no sense. I mean, I know it works better, but it just, it just looks like totally unrealistic, um, at least to me. Uh, water pumping station next to the sewage uh, treatment plant. And as you can see, we have our water table, like most of the water is in this area, so we should be fine. Also this, uh, basically replenishing the water table in a, in a couple of uh, moments, it should be, should be enough. So. I think uh, that's it. Uh, I have a bunch of parks, as you can see. And um, we have the low wealth. Let me show you the, yeah, the land value map. We have the high wealth on this corner, medium wealth in the middle, and low wealth on the on this side. So um, that's pretty much how I want it to be. And uh, we'll, we'll see how it grows. We also have a police station here. Uh, we have the fire station here, and we have a clinic somewhere here. Yeah, right here. Then the parks are pretty much standard. We have the amphitheater. Uh, we have the launch park to get some nice balloons up in the air. So yeah, that's pretty much how the city looks like. Oh yeah, and I forgot garbage dump back here. And um, I think I'm ready to start the simulation. If you guys are, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be quiet for a moment, and I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of the time lapse to see how the city grows.
So this is what the city looks like after a few hours of simulation. As you can see, we reach 90,000 sims in the city and we're making a profit of 1300 an hour. Uh, you might have noticed that we were losing quite a bit of money during the time lapse and the reality is that I turned the taxes to zero just to speed up the growth and get happiness and, and that way we could have um, we could achieve uh, higher densities in, in, you know, in less time. But uh, I adjusted all the values back to normal and let me give you a quick tour because um, I made some small changes into the city while uh, it was growing. So I added a tree depot that uh, is making all of these factories around uh, somewhat happy. Not this one apparently. <laughs> um, I mean, they, they complain about uh, density space because they want to grow bigger. Um, so I have this. I also added a uh, bus depot here and another one on the other side of town right by the community college because um, I needed a way for all the low wealth sims to move around the city so I created this network of bus stops as you can see it's running semi-efficiently I mean 37 minutes it's quite a bit of time in real life but in SimCity it's in green so I'm guessing that's okay um, people so far have not uh, been complaining and uh, in terms of uh, jobs, we have quite a bit of unemployment, uh, even though this is probably a bug because we have a lot of factories with uh, capacity. Like this one is not even half full and it doesn't have a lot of um, medium wealth and uh, high wealth uh, sims, even though there's there's unemployed high wealth sims. So I'm sure, I mean, there are ways for these sims to get to work and the traffic jams are not that big of a deal but uh, there's something going on here because, yeah, I mean, we, pl we have plenty of jobs. And uh, so that's it for this episode. I really, really do hope that this video gives you some ideas for your own creations, your own Citizen SimCity. I will try to make these videos a bit more often if I can, but in the meantime, I'm gonna ask you to leave a rating if you like it and subscribe if you haven't already. That's really, really much appreciated, seriously. Um, and I also want to thank you for watching. I will see you next time.